Hello, Mzansi. Sanam gela gudi jo libo pilo lagwa SABC2. The aim of our show is to help deal with my health-related issues so we can live healthier and happier lives. Every week, since my mother was born, no matter how many years ago, we have been getting a letter on one, on one, on the bed. We have been doing the same thing for years. Now, since the school has been opened, we have been doing the same thing for years. Now, since the school has been opened, we have been doing the same thing for years. Now, since the school has been opened, we have been doing the same thing for years. Now, if that can be a factor in me becoming infertile, I would like to have children very soon. So I just want to know, maybe am I eating the wrong foods? Sister Hamba, so I thought I know Caroline to find out more about her before Spendula and Ibuzo Yag. I guess more. My name is Caroline Tinani. I am 24 and I'm from the East Rand. I enjoy swimming, I enjoy gymming, and I enjoy going out with my friends. Growing up, I came from a big family with my nieces and nephews all around me. And I've realized, I've noticed that a lot of people my age are not having children very easily. So I would just like to know, Dijon, is there anything that I should be worried about in terms of my eating habits? Is there foods that I need to know of that may make me infertile? And is there foods that can actually help my fertility? Almost we are We are joined by a mental health specialist and wellness practitioner, Okotato Matala Pokonzi, who will be answering Amy Buzoka Caroline. Please join in on Twitter at DJ Lebo Pilo or use Facebook, Facebook, DJ Lebo Pilo, or Instagram, DJ Lebo Pilo, or email me on DJ Lebo Pilo at sabc.co.za. See you next Welcome back. Usasa nam lagu dijo libo pelo. Nam tanyo skuluma ngogu la ne infertility. O Caroline wants to start a family, but she wants to make sure that she gets her diet in order so it doesn't hinder her plans. Mental health specialist and wellness practitioner Oko Tazo Matala Pokonzi will be answering Caroline's questions. But first, let's get to know more about her. How amazing is our guest, hey? So smart, levels great deal, brilliant girl. Before say it all, Caroline wanted to find out if there are foods that can cause infertility. She has specific questions that she posted on our Twitter page, and we will be answering these questions with our expert, Namsland. Now you can ever say go to conversation, get a good Twitter at DJ Lebo Pilo, or get a good Facebook, Oti DJ Lebo Pilo, na go Instagram, or get a DJ Lebo Pilo, or get a sharing an email, Oti DJ Lebo Pilo at sabc.co.za. Greetings, how are you? I'm well, thank you, how are you? It's always so great having you on DJ An amazing Pilo. pleasure to be here again. Thank you. Can we just jump into Caroline's issue? Mm -hmm. What is infertility? Okay, so basically infertility in basic mm. is an inability to conceive or to have a child. Mm -hmm. And it's on both sides, males and um, females, mm. right? So that's, that's just the basic definition. Are there foods that affect one's pregnancy, so whether they lessen your chances or increase your chances of falling pregnant, are they those types of foods? Absolutely. There are foods that can improve fertility yes. and there are foods that can uh, lessen, lessen the chances of one becoming pregnant. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we can get into that when we become more specific. So generally, though, would you say, because, I mean, when you look at it, when you look at a lot of, you know, couples or however we say partners, mm -hmm. they're not necessarily eating the right foods, but then they're popping babies left and right. Mm -hmm. So might they say, watching the show, I you know, I don't eat healthy food, mm -hmm. you know, does that, does that matter? Oh, um, look, absolutely. Here's one thing I need to present to the four. 
we have what we call a genetic predisposition, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, there's a reason why if we are both on an unhealthy lifestyle, mm -hmm. I'll get high blood pressure first yes. and you'll get diabetes. Right. And then later, eventually, I'll get the diabetes mm -hmm. and you may eventually get the high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Or you have eczema and I become obese. Mm -hmm. And you can eat whatever and you just maintain very nice and tiny, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because of genetic predisposition. Right. So there are certain people that are genetically more predisposed mm -hmm. to certain issues so they'll they, we will say check family history yes. was there someone that struggled with infertility mm -hmm. was there someone that struggled with hormonal imbalance mm -hmm. yet even if you don't have a uh, genetic predisposition mm. you still can have um, this problem yeah infertility yes. by, Im uh, by Im imbalancing your hormones mm. based on your lifestyle basically but here's yeah. a, also a realistic question how many people I mean in your field mm -hmm. how many people do you bump into just in generally, who check their family history? Sadly, um, a lot of people don't. Mm. Uh, we we just think some things happen, you know, spontaneous. Or the loyal, we think it's about one. Can talk about it. It's real, but you know what I mean. And, and yeah. we we might think it's a joke, but mm. people really take it seriously. Can talk about it. Yeah, bank can talk about it. Kiska ba kiska kona waliba na all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to ha find a way to help the nation understand that it's more than that. I don't think yeah. we should give people so much power that they possess, you know, that they are able to stop Absolutely. us from having. Absolutely. So I think we should just sort of educate the nation to think out of the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree yeah. with you. Okay, so, oh, so, it was just a statement. It was, it was a not statement a question, because you prefer a question. With. Yes, <laughs> ask me a question. I think let Caroline ask you a question. <laughs> Hi, Dijo. I would just like to know, is there any food that I could be eating on a day-to-day -day that could be contributing to me not being able to fall pregnant? Yeah, it's a good question because there are foods that are, that are consumed mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Guys, dairy. Hey! Mm -hmm. And by dairy, you're not just saying EBC, you are saying dairy. about cheese. Absolutely. Zonke -bonke. Everything oh, dairy. So what, and the reason is breast milk has hormones. Yes. Right? Yes. And remember, this is a female cow that also has form its own hormones that regulate its fertility, Correct. that regulate its size, Correct. and all these other things. When we ingest those hormones, it affects our natural hormones. But also remembering that we have got something that's called lactase. It's something like, what is it called that, that breaks down lactase? We've got something that breaks down lactase, mm -hmm. but it only exists from the age of not until two. Absolutely. So we can break so down lactose, but from a human breast, human breast milk from zero until two, right? But now you've got your facts, girl. But I'm just saying, <laughs> after two years old, we don't have don't. electase a break down lactose from a human's Absolutely. breast. Now, from that age, from here, yeah, from, uh, let me just, you know, let me just say, from mm -hmm. two onwards, we are busy, consuming something much stronger that's what i'm saying much so much stronger. estrogen and all of those things much but stronger, there's nothing absolutely. in our system that, that breaks break it down it. Hey, assimilate comrades lenda ba siala vele ukstopa i cow's milk siala vele Anyway, sorry, continue. Mm -hmm. It's just that in the um, because I, I could yeah. see where you were going. It's absolutely, it's absolutely that <sighs> that that deep. But then it it doesn't only lessen the chances of a female, particularly yes. being able to conceive, right. but also greatly can affect males, mm -hmm. right? Mm. In that, what makes a man a man is his levels of testosterone, mm. right? The it's, reason why mm. he's able to produce a certain amount of sperm, mm. Mm. right, in that amount of health or quality of health that it has, mm. requires a, good, a proper amount of, of, of uh, testosterone. testosterone. But not but too now, much. But not too much. Okay. But now when they ingest estrogen, oh. right, it reduces their natural levels of testosterone. Guys, this is necessary for us to know. Say it. Any man with a biggish pot belly. Hey, um, probably say um, has um, low um, cab. Yes, okay. probably. Has a, a, a lower amount of, of, of testosterone. It is a given. So, when you have a baby, right there in your home stand up. Now, fill your belly. Now, you must understand what this contributes to you and your wife possibly not being able to consume. Possibly. Okay, ma'am, please go back. And now they are fried foods, Ooh, right? Um, hormones are produced by fats. 
Mm. Why we need to eat fat in our body, of course, it, it, it takes care of our skin and our hair and all these other things, but it builds the hormone. And what kind of fat? Because I know you don't just mean J, fats. Mm -hmm. So they are monounsaturated uh, fats, right? And is tolagalapi, right? Instead of, we can speak about these big terms, but I want to make practical examples. Thank you. You see your steak? Okay, mother. But it's steak. It's steak, mm. right? And there's that beautiful, fatty, white Let's thing eat. that they love so much. Yes. Right? Yes. That's one of the issues that increase the amount of cholesterol and create basically bad fats mm. that will uh, not necessarily be able to be synthesized by the body to create the hormones that you need. So mm. the body cannot necessarily break them up. It stores them. Mm. It deposits them on your thighs as a woman, on your belly Tiny. as a man, on your arms, uh -huh. but it doesn't use them so you could find that you have a diet that's high in 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 these um, fats mm. these unhealthy fats, fats from fried chips yes do you understand yes. from uh, candy so uh, things like uh, butter hey. if if you I, I always tell my clients to label read to learn their labels Food. and we teach them how to read those E's and those B's and those but D's. But because I feel like those labels are complicated because they purposely do to not want us to understand. To know, to know what's going on. So if you find <sighs> anything with hydrogenated oil on it, oh. it's in peanut butters. No, it's in no, you stop it. No, stop it. Can we have a... No, no, no stop it. Are you saying peanut butter at all? Well, certain, t certain brands. If you know your brand, there are brands that have amazing peanut butter. You just need to check, turn your label. If there's hydrolyzed, hydrogenated, then it's a, it's a leave dollar. Leave it. So hydrolyzed, hydrogenated, guys, it's a no. So at least, if you, you see what I like about you, you're giving me easy things to try and look and, and pick mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. I can't read mm -hmm. the rest of it. It's a bit too complicated. Yes. I'm imagining this, this sugary things are uh, not contributing to me falling absolutely. pregnant. Absolutely. So again, the play with, with fertility, mm -hmm. you're looking at hormones. Mm -hmm. What makes us fertile is mm -hmm. hormones, mm -hmm. right? And when those are not in balance because of sugar, number one, mm. throws off insulin. Mm. And insulin it regulates uh, your production of oestrogen and, and testosterone, wow. right? And this is why we know one of the other risk factors of uh, infertility is obesity. Mm. 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 So you were saying it's things, so you were, so you were saying um, things like abo, abo nyama, uh, you said dairy, uh, you said it is, you're just labeling the things we, that are fat have infertility. We have dairy, we have fats. Right. You, and we find fats, of course, in every type of meat, you know, chicken skin. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just purely fat. And in your fish? You know, um, fish, the other issue is mercury. The levels of mercury in fish could inhibit or reduce my chances of falling pregnant. The omega-3 in it? The omega-3 in it, you know, I would say you would rather get the, the oil, uh -huh. capsules that's already extracted. Okay or your seeds and uh, try your best to become educated in how then to balance your diet so that you're not malnutritioned mm -hmm. and then to make sure that this little one also is not malnutritioned. So mm -hmm. eating a lot of greens, mm -hmm. getting these wheat, um, wheat grass uh, powders and yes. stuff like to supplement and make sure you have as much calcium, mm -hmm. you have a lot of iron mm -hmm. and you have um, a lot of folic acids mm -hmm. and you have, so that you supplement them to maintain a healthy pregnancy. Mm. Hey, in the lens there, like, yes. Too long. Still go to the next question. Mm. Hi, Dijo. Are there foods that I can eat to increase my fertility? So we shouldn't even be talking about this. We shouldn't be taking food for this, food for that. You should be just living a good life. You know, I'm going to sound like a, break, a, a broken record. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yes, you Keep look... Keep doing it. Keep <sighs> doing it. I promise you, I'm seeing light in my sphere of work. I'm mm. seeing people growing and understanding the gravity of this, yes. of this issue. And mm. so don't lose hope. Keep telling them. Mm. Let's have more shows like this. Where, Let's have where more we talk shows like about this. this. And yeah. eventually it will drill into someone's mm. mindset and it will change and they'll start doing better. So we are talking about the life-giving foods now. Right. Absolutely. I mean, we, I mean this, I mean this diagram. Ah. This is exactly it. There's a mini little growing baby inside. I mean, right? How does anyone not understand <laughs> this?
Absolutely. Okay, and what else? Oh, should I just get everything Please so that you can just Please bring those pomegranates here because oh, this is amazing. Great. This is one I wanted and to see. And these expensive, those pomegranate, pomegranate. Harnad, I mean, I used to grow next door. See, so. <laughs> Kike Harnat, that's what's on its pomegranate. Yeah. In um, literally, our neighbor had it, and yes. we would just pick it out and Stop eat bon. these tiny things, and we didn't even know what it was. We didn't even know the benefits thereof. As I learned later, if you look at a pomegranate, right, yes. it comes in this shell, right, yes. that has an opening. Yes. Uh, just like an ovary, and these are little ovums. <gasps> Yes, inside. of course. It is amazing for female uterine health oh. and for fertility too. Amazing. Right? Remember, we always say food, give it away. Like yes. they tell you what they are for. Of, it's clear. Yeah, right? Completely. Um, so this is, pomegranates are really good. Mm. And I would uh, counsel uh, women, particularly women, mm -hmm. uh, to eat this okay. uh, and have it be a part of their lifestyle, yes. if they can get it cold pressed, juiced okay. without the the the, the, additives. the, the additives and yeah. the preservatives and what that would even be an easier way of consuming it, right? But if you don't say easier, if you can get the, the if suit, you can get this, just come on, this. just chew on this, okay. and they really taste nice. Divine. Right? They, I just love pomegranate. So it's what understand? The, the, the I believe this is rolled oats. It's much the, the grain is much more bigger. Okay. And it's whole, like you can literally see everything that is happening in the grain. But it's not too slimy, and it doesn't produce that white. And it turns into white and a piece That's of starch. That's because they've processed it and they removed okay. life and starch is sugar. When it metabolizes it and converts to glucose, and right. then you get problems. Okay, thank you for that. So you're saying things here yeah, like abo rolled oats are very mm -hmm. good, abo Brazilian nuts or any type of nut? Mm -hmm. Any okay. type of nut. What are these? Are like Those charcoal? are black sesame seeds. And the reason why I ask for black sesame seeds is this principle, and that's the reason why I even have these potatoes. The richer the color or the deeper the pigmentation, the more the nutrients. Oh. So this is superior to this. Yes. Right? In wow. terms of health. Good, very healthy. Yes. But this but this far is more good. This is superior. Great one. So, so meaning I just slice it and I roast it. I don't have to you boil it. You don't have to boil My it. Boy. You just roast it. Oof. And if you do, this problem of putting water and covering your food, mm. you're just killing it. If you do want it to be steamed a bit, just put a little bit at low heat mm -hmm. and let it soften. Mm -hmm. and then cut it up, put it in your oven yeah, and man. let it roast. And then you but just But for a little bit, I mean, mm -hmm. she's only one and she can't eat mama roasted. Even at I'm hurt with the, with the skin. So if I mash it for unanas, Absolutely, you mash it, okay. blend it, Whichever yeah, way, it's still okay for her. The whole way, it's Nanas. perfect. It's and perfect then, for the ones. Are these these are the types that we that uh, we soak these overnight? These ones we, we soak. These ones we have to soak overnight yeah. to remove the phytic acid, mm -hmm. so that you don't get. Um, we call it flatulence. So, and then you've got your leafy greens there. Then we've got our leafy greens. We are trying to get pregnant. Folic acid mm -hmm. and iron is very important, mm. especially in the first weeks of gestation, mm. right? So if you do get pregnant, remember you can get pregnant, but if your hormones are not okay, you, you could lose, lose that, that little, uh, embryo that yes. was forming, right? Yes. So it's really important to make sure that you are loaded with folic acid, which you can find in avocados and you can find in all your greens, mm -hmm. right? To make sure that you can sustain a pregnancy mm -hmm. after conception. Okay, and then your oil here? Yeah? Yeah, then your oil the right fall basically falls under fats. And another thing with oil, ne? we never allow oil to directly meet heat. So you want to use oils like, uh, oils that can resist heat. And one of those, or rather that have more endurance okay. for when you're cooking with it. Olive oil is one of them, mm -hmm. but support it with water. You are a gem, like gem squash. I want to bottle you and keep you. You understand, you are just so amazing. And I feel like as a country, we are very lucky to have someone like you with your insight on the show. Thank you. But I have a chronic fund, the legal shirt in our plans. Plan a connoisseur of Funuk share and now. I'm saying a tweet at Digital Pillo or on Facebook or on Instagram, Digital Pillo or on email. Uti, thank you so much, Digital Pillo, for this infertility, fertility information. Uti, Digital Pillo at sabc.co.za. 
The interview is being posted online for the Caroline to view and take notes. Now we're going to log on and watch us again on your SABC Education's YouTube channel. Almost we thought we go back to Caroline, oh Carolina, to hear what she has learned from our chat with Ukutazo. Stay tuned, Siabuya Manj. I'm still working out on how to be fertile because it's so Welcome back. Usasanam Lagudi Jolly Bupilo on SABC2. When we met to Caroline earlier on a show, we never found was good. Nabe Kono was the old cause of infertility, and that could hinder her from falling pregnant. She has seen a conversation with our expert online. Let's touch base with her and find out what she has picked up from our chat. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for what I've learned, Dijo. I have learned so much like that it's not just the foods that I eat, but if I want to be fertile and stay fertile, it's also all about taking care of my body. I've learned so much from the show, like the fact that you have to eat a lot of greens because they're rich in phosphorus, greens such as spinach and apples or general greens that are rich in phosphorus. Uh, so I do love fish, but unfortunately it is high in mercury, which is bad for my mission to fall pregnant. I've also learned that my partner having a pot belly can uh, contribute to us not being able to have children. So I've encouraged both of us to be active and jog. And um, I would like him to also check his family history because genetics can contribute to us being fertile or infertile. Thank you so much, Dijo. I've learned so much and I'm so grateful. I know that this show isn't just gonna help me, but it's gonna help a lot of other people. online. So please, buze any bo via social media, email, fagite kwa mbiye posi ni wazban, kwa mbuzo wako will be chosen as the question of the day for next week's show. Maslaka nela kwa DJ Lebo Pilo on SABC2 next week, same place, same time. Kutiwa hii date. Uzobula. Bye-bye. <laughs>